Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought we'd do something a little bit different today and I am going to answer some of your questions that I've been getting um, on Facebook, on Instagram, and also on my website. Random things. So. I thought we'd have a little get to know each other session. So I'm going to start off with the first one that I get all the time and that's where are you from? And it's a question that I've gotten my entire life. <laughs> um, I am from Thailand. I am Thai and American, but I always say I'm Thai first because this is where I was born, this is where I grew up, and this is where I've lived my entire life. My father was American, and my mother is half English, one quarter Thai, and the other quarter is Kashmiri Indian. So yeah, growing up, I had to really prove to a lot of people that I am Thai, Ben Kun Thai, because I would, you know, be walking down the road and people, they would always point at me like, we do falang, 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 is the Thai word for like, um, foreigner, yeah, white person. <laughs> and I would get so upset, I would be like, no, I'm Thai. And it's kind of ironic that I then went on to enter the Miss Thailand World pageant and represented Thailand. <laughs> Because when I went to Miss World, people were like, where are you from? I'm like, look, look, Thailand, my ass. They're like, oh. no, really, where are you from? I'm like, I'm from Thailand. They're like, mm -hmm. seriously, come on. Where are you from? I am an only child. No brothers and sisters. I grew up just me and my mom and my dad. Yeah, I had to just kind of entertain myself a lot because both of them were working really hard. And I had some friends, but a lot of the times I had to just, you know, play by myself. And I think in a way that kind of fostered my creativity and my imagination because you have to be creative when you have nobody to play with. <laughs> it's really sad. There was this big frangipani tree in front of, in our front yard. I would go underneath like and put mats on and I would turn like one section into a kitchen and one section to a bedroom and I would spend hours in that tree just playing house and talking with my imaginary friends and um, I would climb up to the top and like poke my head out and pretend I was like a, a pirate on the lookout <laughs> and people would walk down the road and be like that there's a crazy kid yeah I was um I was very much a strange child. But that's great when you're a model or an actress because you have all these things that you can create and really get into the character. So uh, that was um, good training <laughs> for the career that I ended, up, I ended up in. Another thing I used to do is, so my parents would always have these big house parties and I would love to entertain them. I would get two skirts of my mom that had an elastic waist and I would put these curtains up and then choreograph my own fashion shows using just these two skirts. So I would walk out in one design and, you know, do my thing and then go back and quickly change it, you know, put the skirt on my head as a scarf and then the other one as a halter and come back out again, do a little twirl, go back in and switch it up. So I would like do, I don't know, a full fashion show using these two skirts. <laughs> When I was a kid, I remember being obsessed with this movie Medicine Man with Sean Connery, where he would you know, like spend live in the jungle and try and find a cure for cancer. And I was like, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna live in a tree. I have this thing with trees, apparently. I couldn't see a tree without climbing it. So anyway, so I would dream about, okay, I'm gonna grow up and live in a tree and like find a cure for cancer. And I was always interested in biology. I think I saw another movie, I think it was like Free Willy or something with dolphins. And then I was like, oh my god, I have to be a marine biologist because I could dive as well. So then I was like, okay, forget cancer, I'm gonna save dolphins. And uh, even like in school, I was like really, really interested in biology up until we had to do anatomy and we had to dissect frogs. And then I was like, mm -mm. sorry, I couldn't, I, could, I can't. I knew my dreams of being a doctor was shot because the thought of like 
putting metal. Oh, I can't even talk about it. Like I can't. It just makes me so squeamish. Blood, I don't mind, but like the thought of metal going into your skin. So my star sign is Capricorn. And as all Capricorns will tell you, we are very organized, we're very responsible, we set very high standards for ourselves and also for others, which we have to remind ourselves that, you know, just let people be. <laughs> I am obsessed with lists. I love making lists for everything. I make lists for what I have to buy at the grocery store. I make lists for all the things I have to do at the house. And it just gives me so much joy when I get to tick all those things off the list. Yeah. So my Chinese horoscope is a horse. I am an earth horse. And actually my entire family are horses. And if anybody knows about horses, you know that we are very stubborn. We are very headstrong. <laughs> and you can imagine when the three of us got together, it was a, a stampede. Ooh. So favorite movies growing up, I um, didn't watch a lot of TV. I would watch a lot of musicals. My all time favorite would have to be My Fair Lady. I know all the songs. I can sing all the songs. I love Eliza Doolittle. I love her story and how she went from this flower seller to this beautiful, refined um, lady. And that was something that really s triggered something in me. <laughs> and also the fashion in that movie it was just like, oh. Anything spicy and sour. Like som tam and yam mun sen and gang som and tom yam. <laughs> and my favorite snack is green extra sour mango with naplawan, which is a dipping sauce made from um, sugar, fish sauce, shrimp, uh, red onions, and chili. Mm, so good. My other favorite food is chocolate. I have a tattoo right above my belly button and it's a black rose that I designed. One and only tattoo I have and I've never regretted it because it actually covers a scar that I got from a jellyfish. Um, I actually have a scar, if you can see, on my hand and I would never wear crop tops. I was really, really self-conscious of the scar, so I got a tattoo. Problem solved. I can't stand worms. Can't stand cockroaches. No! Cockroaches should all die. I also have a fear of heights. <laughs> Especially, um, Floors that you can see through. You know, they have these fancy places where there's glass blocks in the floor. Like, I don't get that. Why? I'm not so bad, like, you know, if on a balcony or a high building, but definitely walking over transparent floors, very, very high up. I also hate, with a vengeance, that falling feeling. So these roller coaster rides that, you know, I did one at Magic Mountain once, it's free fall, I think, you go up and they just drop you? Like, why? It's the worst feeling in the world. No, I take that back. Um, labor is the worst feeling in the world. So I hope I've answered some of your questions and we've been able to get to know me a little bit more. Um, if there's anything else you want to know about me, please feel free to comment below and I'll definitely answer that or share with you. That's it for now. I will see you soon. Bye guys.